Here is Synthax, a time traveler from the year 2500. Levitation, by definition, is the process of lifting or raising an object, or even oneself, against the force of gravity using the power of the mind or other unseen forces. Let's go through my story and in a short while you will find also how you can levitate. I was sent on a mission to the year 2700 to uncover the secrets of levitation, a phenomenon that had captivated human imagination for centuries. My task was to learn from the masters of levitation and bring that knowledge back to my own time. Upon arrival in the year 2700, I found myself in a mesmerizing metropolis with hovering skyscrapers and floating gardens adorning the skyline. The city was a living testament to the power of levitation, as it seemed to defy gravity itself. Eager to begin my quest, I searched for the most skilled practitioners of this art. My journey led me to the Levitation Institute, a prestigious academy where the best and brightest minds studied the enigmatic force of levitation. It was there that I met Master Lyra, a renowned expert in the field. She agreed to teach me the ways of levitation, and I became her apprentice. Under Master Lyra's tutelage, I learned that levitation was not merely a scientific phenomenon, but a delicate balance between the physical world and the spiritual realm. It required intense focus, discipline, and a deep connection with the energies that bind all living things. As my training progressed, I began to understand the true potential of levitation. We practiced levitating objects of various sizes, from tiny pebbles to massive boulders. We even learned to levitate ourselves, soaring through the sky with the grace of an eagle. Soon, we explored more advanced applications of levitation. Master Lyra taught me how to use this power for transportation, from moving goods efficiently to constructing floating bridges that could connect distant lands. We also discovered that levitation could revolutionize the field of medicine by enabling precise and non-invasive surgeries. In time, we ventured beyond the boundaries of the city to witness the power of levitation in the natural world. We observed how it could be used to mitigate natural disasters by stabilizing the ground during earthquakes or redirecting the flow of water during floods. The potential uses for levitation seemed limitless, and I realized that this knowledge could reshape the world for the better. As my studies continued, I began to delve into the philosophical and ethical aspects of levitation. I learned that, throughout history, levitation had been associated with both light and darkness. While some practitioners used it for good, others sought to harness its power for nefarious purposes. Master Lyra through these complex moral quandaries, helping me understand that the power of levitation came with a great responsibility. It was up to each individual to use this gift wisely and for the benefit of all. After countless hours of practice, I finally mastered the art of levitation. It was a remarkable feeling to be able to defy gravity and manipulate objects with just the power of my mind. With my newfound abilities, I felt an overwhelming sense of responsibility to ensure that this knowledge was used for the greater good. Master Lyra emphasized that, for people to attempt levitation in any century, they would need to develop a deep understanding of both the physical and spiritual worlds, as well as cultivate an unwavering focus and discipline. To begin the journey toward mastering levitation, one must first establish a strong foundation in meditation and mindfulness. This would enable them to clear their minds of distractions and achieve a state of heightened awareness. Aspiring practitioners would also need to develop a deep understanding of the forces that govern the universe and the energies that flow through all living things. With this knowledge, they could then begin to explore the concept of levitation through visualization exercises, imagining the sensation of weightlessness and the freedom of defying gravity. Over time, and with diligent practice, individuals might gradually develop the ability to manipulate these forces and achieve levitation. Master Lyra also shared with me the importance of maintaining a strong moral compass and a commitment to using levitation for noble purposes. She emphasized that the true value of levitation lay not in the power it bestowed upon the individual, but in the potential it held for transforming society for the better. As my time in the year 2700 continued, I had the opportunity to witness firsthand the incredible ways in which levitation had been integrated into various aspects of daily life. From transportation and construction to agriculture and environmental preservation, the applications of levitation were as diverse as they were innovative. I met with scientists and engineers who were developing new technologies and infrastructure, harnessing the power of levitation to build more sustainable and efficient cities. I encountered artists who incorporated levitation into their work, creating breathtaking performances and stunning visual displays that defied the limits of imagination. 
As I engaged with these brilliant minds and visionaries, I was struck by the collaborative and inclusive spirit that pervaded this futuristic society. It was clear that the people of the 2700s had embraced the potential of levitation not just as a means to achieve individual goals, but as a way to collectively uplift and empower their communities. One particularly memorable encounter took place when I visited a school for young levitation practitioners. There, I observed children from all walks of life learning to harness their innate abilities and hone their skills under the watchful eyes of dedicated teachers. It was heartwarming to witness the sense of camaraderie and mutual support among these students, who were united in their pursuit of mastery and their commitment to using levitation for good. During my stay in the future, I also had the chance to explore the ways in which levitation had revolutionized the fields of medicine and healthcare. Doctors and researchers had developed innovative treatments that relied on the precise manipulation of objects within the body, allowing them to perform non-invasive surgeries and administer targeted therapies with unprecedented accuracy. These advances had significantly improved patient outcomes and reduced the need for more invasive procedures, leading to a healthier and happier population. With this wealth of knowledge and experience at my disposal, I continued to explore the world of the 2700s, seeking out new opportunities to learn and grow as a practitioner of levitation. I met with experts from various disciplines who had integrated levitation into their work, further expanding my understanding of its countless applications. In the realm of sports, I discovered that levitation had given rise to entirely new forms of competition, with athletes demonstrating incredible feats of agility and strength as they defied gravity. These events captivated audiences, inspiring a new generation to push the boundaries of human potential. I also visited environmental conservation projects where levitation was employed to protect and restore delicate ecosystems. By using levitation to control the movement of water, soil, and other natural resources, conservationists were able to mitigate the effects of climate change and support the flourishing of diverse habitats. During my travels, I encountered numerous individuals who had dedicated their lives to the study and practice of levitation. From the elders who preserved ancient techniques, to the young prodigies eager to innovate and push the limits of what was possible, I was consistently inspired by their passion and determination. In one particularly enlightening experience, I participated in a global conference on levitation, where practitioners, scholars, and enthusiasts from around the world gathered to share their knowledge and collaborate on new ideas. The sense of unity and shared purpose that permeated the event was a powerful testament to the transformative potential of levitation. As I continued my journey through the 2700s, I took every opportunity to deepen my connection with the forces that made levitation possible. I explored various spiritual practices and disciplines, seeking to understand the underlying principles that connected the physical and metaphysical realms. Through meditation, mindfulness, and introspection, I gained insights into the nature of the universe and the energies that flowed through all living things. As my understanding of these forces grew, so too did my mastery of levitation. I was able to levitate larger objects and maintain my focus for longer periods, even under challenging conditions. I realized that, as a practitioner of levitation, my potential was limited only by my own dedication and commitment to growth. Throughout my time in the 2700s, I documented my experiences and observations in a detailed journal, which I intended to bring back with me to the year 2500. This invaluable record of my journey would serve as a guide for future generations, helping them to unlock the secrets of levitation and harness its power for the betterment of humanity. As I prepared to leave the 2700s, I felt a mixture of gratitude and determination. I was grateful for the wisdom and guidance I had received from Master Lyra and the countless individuals who had shared their knowledge with me. At the same time, I was determined to ensure that this knowledge did not go to waste, and that the people of the year 2500 would have the opportunity to benefit from the incredible potential of levitation. Upon my return to the year 2500, I set to work sharing my discoveries with the world. I published my journal, detailing my experiences and insights, and organized workshops and seminars to teach others the art of levitation. The response was overwhelming, as people from all walks of life embraced the potential of levitation and sought to learn its secrets. As the practice of levitation spread, it began to reshape society in profound and positive ways. People discovered new means of transportation, built innovative structures, and revolutionized various fields, all thanks to the power of levitation. As I looked upon the world I had helped to transform, I felt a deep sense of fulfillment, 
knowing that I had played a part in ushering in a new era of progress and understanding. With the knowledge of levitation firmly rooted in the hearts and minds of the people, I could only imagine the boundless possibilities that lay ahead for humanity. Until we meet again, farewell.